Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I am Okbayemi Owosheni, and these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. The organized labor says it will not accept any 62,000 naira or 100,000 naira starvation wage as the minimum wage for Nigerian workers. Chris Oyenka, an assistant general secretary of the Nigerian Labor Congress, disclosed this during a televised interview on Monday. The labor unions insisted on 250,000 naira in its latest demand at the last meeting of the tripartite committee on minimum wage on Friday as a living wage for an average Nigerian worker. The federal government has threatened to go after the management of any hospital that refused to attend to patients rushing through their facilities in an emergency. The Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Kane Dionaneye, gave the warning at the Unlock Grant Award ceremony in Abuja on Sunday. Speaking at the event on Sunday, Kennedy Oaneye said the federal government will no longer allow such incidents to go unpunished, saying hospitals have been directed to start putting out signposts reflecting no more rejection of emergency patients outside their facilities. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has announced Thursday, September 26, as a date for its second National Executive Council meeting for 2024. At the first SNEC meeting held on April 18th, issues including the faith of the acting national chairman of the party, Ilya Damagom, were deferred to the next SNEC meeting, earlier stated for August 2024. And in Ondo State, the police commanders urge youths in the state to exercise restraint over their grievances against the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The police ask the youths to comport themselves and act within the ambit of the law during their protest against the EFCC. On Saturday, EFCC operatives raided two clubs simultaneously in Accra, the Ondo State capital, and arrested 127 suspected internet fraud stars. And on business, we newly released data by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics has revealed that export of agricultural products from Nigeria to other countries increased by 123% over the value recorded in the fourth quarter of 2023, and also by 273% when compared to the value recorded in the first quarter of 2023, which was 279.64 billion naira. According to the MBS report on foreign trade in good statistics for the first quarter of 2024, it noted that most of the agricultural products were exported to Asia, valued at 572 billion naira, followed by exports to Europe with 366 billion naira. On the foreign scene, the Centre Right Citizens for European Development of Bulgaria participated its own court to win the most vote in Bulgaria's snap election, but it will need at least two coalition partners to, to form a government. With 64% of vote from Sunday's election counted, JRB enjoyed a strong lead, having won 23.65% of the vote. That illustrated that the result of Bulgaria's sixth election in three years were unlikely to put an end to the political instability that has plagued the country in recent years. And on sport, Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti has declared that Spanish giants will reject the invitation to participate in the upcoming FIFA World Cup, citing dissatisfaction with the competition's prize money. FIFA is offering 20 million euros for the old competition. The FIFA Club World Cup is an annual international club football competition organized by FIFA, the sport's global governing body. It features the champions from each of the six continental federations, along with the host nation's domestic league champions. And these are the stories we're tracking at the moment. Many thanks for joining us. I am Okbayemi Oboshini. Join us for more stories at the top of the hour.